breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. I can't trust any Hebrew man as president. No Nigerian will vote for them. Hulu. I can't trust any Hebrew man as president. No Nigerian will vote for them, says Oluo. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. The Oluo of Iwo, Oba Abdul Rashid Adewale Akombi, has declared, has declared that he can't trust any Southeaster to be the president of Nigeria. His stand is coming at a time the Southeast is demanding for a Nigerian president of Hebrew extraction on the basis of equity. He noted that his sit at home order issued by the members of the Eastern Security Network, ESN, was not only inimical to their survival, but also to the growth of the nation. Oba Abdul Rashid also advocated for a rethink by the Southeasterners to their approach. The monarch held that no Nigerian will feel secured in the hands of a leader whose ethnic attachment deprived other Nigerians in their rights. In a statement through Ali Ibrahim, his chief press secretary, the Oluwo stated that the failure of the Southeasterners to change their approach will amount to chasing shadow on their political journey. Of producing Nigerian president. While acknowledging the damage done to Igbos by the Nigerian Civil War, he enjoined the Southeasterners to rescind on their attitude of burying people from other parts of the country from holding properties in their domain. He insisted that the policy was not only detrimental to their political strength, but also a deficit to the economic unity of Nigeria. According to him, the civil war wounds meted on Southeasterners is a weak factor to institutionalized policies capable of tearing the nation apart. I have people from across Nigeria in Hiwo, including the Southeasterners. They do not only have their businesses, but also build their houses and own farmlands. Such is not only peculiar to Iwo, but to other parts of the country. Except the Southeast, a Nigerian in Nigeria should be able to own land anymore. The style by the Southeasterners is barbaric. Such is not only detrimental to their economic viability, but also to their political recognition. As a traditional ruler, I can't trust my Southeasterner as my president. You can't be a leader on sectional interest with such unsophisticated primitive and uncivilized thinking. No Nigerian from other zones will vote a Southeasterner as their president. The Oluwo of Iwo, Hoba Abdul Rashid Adewale Akombi, has declared that he can't trust any Southeaster to be the president of Nigeria. His stand is coming at a time the Southeast is demanding for a Nigerian president of Igbo extraction on the basis of equity. 
He noted that the sit at home order issued by the members of the Eastern Security Network, ESN was not only inimical to their survival but also to the growth of the nation. Abba Abdul Rashid also advocated for everything by the Southeasterners to their approach. The monarch held that no Nigerian will feel secured in the hands of a leader whose ethnic attachment deprived other Nigerians their right. In a statement through Ali Ibrahim, his chief press, Secretary D. Oluo stated that the failure of the Southeasterners to change their approach will amount to chasing shadow on their political journey of producing Nigerians' president, while acknowledging the damage done to Igbos by the Nigerian civil war, he enjoined the Southeasterners to rescind on the attitude of bearing people from other parts of the country from owning properties in their domain. He insisted that the policy was not only detrimental to their political strength, but also a deficit to the economic unity of Nigeria. According to him, the civil war wounds method on Southeasterners is a weak factor to institutionalize policies capable of tearing the nation apart. I have people from across Nigeria in Iwo, including the Southeasterners. They do not only have their businesses, but also build their houses and own farmland. Such is not only peculiar to Iwo, but to other parts of the country, except the Southeast, a Nigerian in Nigeria should be able to own land anywhere. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.